This has been a ba certified bad man tune moment. <laughs> How's everyone doing? Alright. I've got the chat loaded up on my phone. I can see I can see everything you guys are saying. Illy. Okay. Should we just should we just start? Look, I'm just gonna go. Um oh yeah, it looks like the head is changing now. Alright. Uh let's get into this. Hang on. I'm just gonna set the timer real quick. I'll give myself just one hour and I'll give myself just one one minute to quickly explain what I'm doing. So, uh right here I am gonna make a track, a full track in an hour. I just uh started my timer. Uh oh my god. Okay. Twitch. Okay, cool. So yeah, I'm going to make a tune in an hour. Let's go. Um, let's start probably get kick. Actually, before we even get there, let's let's let's, let's go into the most vital thing. Operator patch. We'll draw up some harmonics. Get a saw wave. FM this. I get some OTT multiband compression. I just kind of like start by mocking around with sounds, and um, and then from there I can kind of maybe like start figuring out a baseline. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Get a triangle, drag the envelope backwards, and just boost that and get rid of the release. Yeah, one voice. I want to make sure it's mono so we don't get like phase clash issues with the bass line later. <laughs> this grain delay is so cool. I love it though. Um, Gee, all right, let's see what, there might be some plugins you can use to spice this up a little. Uh, actually, let's use. So I'm just using a stock Apple reverb called AU Matrix Reverb. It's really good reverb for this sound design stuff. Oh, all right. You guys want me to turn up the volume? All right, real quick. All right, how's this? Real quick. Is that loud, guys? Tell me if that's loud enough. All right, cool, cool. All right, now I'm gonna start. I've actually thought today, uh, I haven't really done it in a while. I wanna do like a classic uh, triplet flow kind of vibe. I think. Like do, 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 do. Uh, one important thing I actually do in my tracks uh, in Ableton, I actually turn on delay here, the little section here, and um, and I just 
adjust the milliseconds just by ear and have the metronome running just so I can kind of get a, a feel for the timing. Because y- your, your timing and phase when you're making a song is like so important, I reckon. I reckon that's what really makes it for some tracks. Um, let's save this project. Um, probably just layer up an ominous clap. I really recommend ominous drums, they are good. Oh, I might actually just quickly put more spin compression and uh, there's actually a compressor I really like to work with, Paints. So I'll just quickly put this on the master. And I'm just going to do a little bit of subtle like compression with both the multiband compression and this. Just subtle, just like a little. Um, just so like kind of evening out the sound, just sort of smooths it out a bit, dynamic wise. <laughs> yeah, that kick is pretty short. This dubstep is uh, pretty lossy, probably. Lossy dub. spectral time on this. I've just got a little bit of the stereo spread, uh, just a tiny, tiny a little bit amount. I might actually turn off the compression on the low end. You actually, something I've I've learned, you want to avoid using like next to no compression on your low end or subs. I reckon just on your low frequencies. If you, if they get really compressed, they actually get really really muddy. I, um, it's actually better to kind of keep your input like of your low end quite relatively low and it's better to boost it on the other end like on the master i find i find it just sounds like better that's just something i'm still kind of like learning I, I i do have a tendency to do like bass boost in my projects like i don't really care i just do whatever sounds good in the moment <laughs> Get the gate. 
flip it, kick, high pass, jump, jump. This is how I side chain for those that don't know. And then uh, I'll just adjust the group with the side chain about minus 30, maybe even try minus 30. I actually want it heaps early, yeah. And then we'll shift this back. Yeah, that side chain hidden right. Um, now I just need a hi hat. Alright. I'll show you guys a neat little trick I learnt with hi hats. Um, is uh, if you get a transient shaper, specifically the Killer Hearts one. Um, can you, you guys can see my pl plugins, yeah? You guys, okay, yeah, you guys can see my full scanning. Okay, cool. So uh, I'll give it like a little bit of attack. And um, like I'll give my hi-hats a little bit of attack. I'll probably ad adjust by ear. Let's have a listen. <laughs> Here kind of t takes out that like, t -t 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 like, cause it's, that's the problem with like a lot of hi hats. They just kind of have this like real like annoying kind of like high frequency like transient. You can kind of just take it out with the attack with uh, the kill hearts transient shape up. So you got it's keep it keep it there like a little bit so it's still kind of like organic and like itself like that sound you're not like, manipulating it too much but. Ducking the attack definitely like definitely helps. Now I'm gonna quickly bust the drums. Um, I might actually give it a little bit of an EQ. Maybe, maybe the kick. What, what is this kicky? What have I done? <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna make it. Can you believe I'm about to make this kick even shorter? I'm gonna resample it. I really like I really like how it sounded here. It was really just like non-intrusive. I don't know. I like it. I like that. Do our usual drum pattern. bit here we'll just get the spectral time and go hey man what's this all about <laughs> wait 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 let's get this little bit maybe oh I just need that little section just go up a little bit maybe okay yeah, it just needs to sort of re return that delay point back to zero, I think. That sort of sounds good. Um, let's just create a variation here. We'll just copy paste to do one here. Uh, we might just draw different harmonics. We, that's how we can create a different version of this sound. Oh, I just choked up. 
that's how it created a different variation of the sound. So what I'm doing here, actually, this is like almost like a additive synthesis section of Operator. And you can just draw the harmonics and get like different timbres. It's pretty cool. And you can see the wave here too, which is pretty cool. Kind of like imagining like some weird like su kind of like super soul thing kind of going like ee! I'm gonna do like your wave table get some noise up it like just make it really uh let's try envelope on pitch oh my god it's so high oh god this is painful. Nah, maybe too much, too much, too much. And then, last but not least, some uh, delay should do it. What's the clock at now? I, I I can't actually see. Wait, or uh, where are we at? Oh my goodness! I got like forty-three. What am I doing? I should I should I should be focusing on the track. But all right, wow. Okay, we're 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 only like fifty minutes in. Twenty minutes in. All right, I gotta let's try to see if we can beef up the drums with Panks compressor. This is a really good compressor. I actually highly recommend this. It hit different, bro. Like, I don't usually hype up plugins. This one gets me hyped. See, I just tweak these presents and air knobs ever so slightly, and it just does like the perfect amount of just like high end fizzle on the sound. And it just gives you that like dirty compression, and the NYC knob is really cool too. It gives you a bit of like saturation. It just it's such a colorful compressor. I love it. It's like, yeah, very colorful. I'm gonna chuck the ambassador in the front. Here. So I'll just maybe up the separation here. I like it at 24, I think that's a good spot. 
some love to the claps here I think it, they could do with a bit of a EQ I'll just quickly high pass it because I think it's like yeah, it's got a lot of information going on I might even just do it in Ableton I'm not actually side chaining the hats, but they're actually going through the same compression and like, like it's going through um, this bus here. So we have the drum bus in Ableton and uh, Panks, which is kind of works as like almost like a a drum bus in itself. Um, it kind of has its own color and sort of warmth as a drum bus does as well. So I like using them sort of parallel to each other, like. I think if you think about it like this, if you're doing like, like you could compress something with one compressor and just do it fully, or you can do tiny little processing steps where you compress it a little bit on this compressor, maybe compress it on this a little bit here. And what you get is actually quite a unique sound in whether it's your compression or your effects or whatever it is. Um, because you're doing it differently. You're doing a whole new process now where it's become parallel and it's so this like dry signal still coming through and still passing through compressor to compressor or whatever it is. Um, but yeah, yeah you, it actually allows you to make a fatter signal if you use multiple compressors in some kind of like 50-50 dry wet with both of them. Uh, which is actually what we're doing on the master here with the multiband compressor and the panks here. Uh, what we're doing with the drum bus here. And I guess kind of what I do with my sound design, I actually have usually, usually have a bit more multiband compression. This could, maybe we could pump up some multiband compression. Now I'm going to start making an intro. I want to get like a pad something. I'm vibing something like real lush. Yeah, that's nice. How do we get that in D minor? Yeah, okay. Jungle Jungle Pack, if you know, you know. Real OGs know. Like, I just feel like if you've been producing long enough, you know about that pack. Legendary. I might actually just get rid of the hat. Oh my god, the kick sounds so weird in that context. I might actually like low pass it here. Oh, it's still. Oh dear. What have I done? Why is this just like. There's like a click. Wait, is that. Oh, it's the. It's the pad. Oh? Is it? Oh, I can't figure. That's really annoying. No. We don't love that. No, there's like a really, I don't know if you guys can pick it or hear it. There's like a DC click on that kick. It's 
sounds like I oh it's ever so slightly not reaching zero phase here you, if you can see that right there it's doesn't no it's just the kicks ever so slightly uh, maybe maybe that's what it is I think that's what it is so if I just fade it like nope that didn't fix it uh, I don't know whatever I guess it's just part of the sound now <laughs> all right I, I'm not I'm not gonna try and fix it at this point uh, I'm just overthinking no dub is perfect maybe for this section I'll do a new kick now. Pumps some delay, like VQ this one. Someone just, someone really just gonna make me do the, where is it? I'm actually, you know what? I'm gonna rip it from Trip Deep Zoo. I'm gonna, I'm not even gonna like pull out the actual sample. <laughs> oh, it's in D minor as well. Oh, I'll have to like
Um, let's see how more cooks we can make this sound. Oh, too much FM. This sounds so much like that door sound, the fucking space laces. Come on, never say die. Get me a fucking space laces collab. Let's go. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But I mean, unless. <laughs> Space Lace is in 30 minutes, man. <laughs> and then... That sounded really cool. So, like, I'll just... Do some similar synthesis here. Similar process. So I went six chorus. Was it like twenty four decibels? Oh, I, I did edit the right thing, right? Oh, whoops. Lessen that like Apparently there's a mini Leo tricks now called Honey Germ. Available for, for bookings now. <laughs> Oh 
Oh my goodness. I wonder, can you guys hear that? It's like really loud noise coming from outside. I deal with this often. Like noise. Okay. Um. Needs more OTT and vocoder. Oh, you reckon? It can definitely go that way. It can definitely go that way, Goffers. It can definitely go that way. That was a really magical suggestion, man. Shoutouts, Goffers. Goffers, you, you are a magic man. You really are. <laughs> Alright, let's get an impact. In this, like, bit. That's a cool little impact sound. I might do like just basic like something like that. Oh wait, I could probably just do like pitch envelope. I don't even need to like automate necessarily. And then just Kind of metallic and fix something. Uh, we'll just get like a sweet sound. Actually, it might just do like. something funny. This time it's did it did it did it did it like did it did it did it Leo Trace. I don't know. Leo Trace. Side chain reverb on the chops. Free vocal. I don't know.
Yeah, cool. So that's just like the backing of like the build up and then we'll get like Hack for MIDI fast, command M. What, what do you mean? Command A is in. I'm not sure. Hmm. No, I need like a clap. Yeah. No, like a clap. Nah, a clap. Come on. real short for this bit Trace, 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 trace,
Go back to the sound. I just wanted to keep it a little bit. said big repeats on sound right now for those who know if you know you know case you know what I mean big up the jungle massive the terrorist race thanks Ray Keith <laughs>
I love how the drums is just like at this point like Maybe it's not the side chain for this bit here. <laughs> this build up is literal ass. <laughs> How much time do I have? putting that there but it's there <laughs>
can I be forgiven for not making a second drop or like because we're kind of <laughs> I'm out of time hey <laughs> oh <laughs> this this counts I did this in an hour Riptidal says we can do an intro, outro, I mean, real quick. I can, we'll, we'll just... We'll just do that. Fade out. But actually, it's not complete until... I can do it a little bit differently here. That's a, that's a wrap, I think. What? How's my, my time has got like one minute. So, technically, technically I did this under an hour. I could uh, quickly try speed run a little. Hold up. I'm gonna attempt something here. Hold up, we're going Super Saiyan. Oh wait. Oh. Yeah, sweet. Yes. Yes. And then 
quickly. Oh shit, okay. That's a timeout. That's it, that's a timeout. That's absolutely timeout. Alright, I'm just turning that pitch and blue ball. <laughs> I did like slight tweaks. There's just a second drop now. There is technically a second drop now. <laughs> no, should I keep the pitch up? Okay, bet. I'm gonna keep it. It's kind of muddy, but I'm gonna keep it for you, Lenari. Just for you. Special dub. Alright. <laughs> now upload. Wait, I just need to check this. There. Alright, cool. Um that's that's this dub I guess. <laughs> Alright, uh sh shall I'll I'll play um play the first drop. I'll I'll just play from the top again. <laughs> Forgive me. I'm doing this one tweet. Just this one tiny little tweet. No, that doesn't really fix it. I don't know what it is. Damn. Ah, oh, it's um. Oh, it's this. Hold on. I just. I need to do it. This needs to be fixed. Yeah. Nice. And then just put like... Alright, now I'm happy. I'm happy now. No more changes. There was just like a little transition, like click I didn't like or something, but. <laughs> yeah, this was a lot heavier than uh, your usual future rhythm, but yeah. No, I'm proud of this one. This is cool. Play for me. everyone for joining
anyway, that's uh that's been a one hour dub. Thank you for joining. Uh see you guys next time. <laughs>